child of God, even you, even you, after the Lord had performed all that miracle for you, you can turn away from him and start serving other gods. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come before you today. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us. And thank you, King of Kings, for being there for us. Father, we request that you go with us wherever we go. May your grace, favor, and anointing be with us in all things that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Child of God, today I want to talk about idolatry. And idolatry is about the worship of idols. That is the worship of things which were created by God. An idol is anything or anyone that draws the affection and devotion of our hearts away from God. The children of Israel, after the Almighty God, had performed miracles and brought them out of bondage from Egypt, they decided to turn away from the God who had saved them. We realize that this is the nature of human beings. That most of us in the life that we have, God has performed miracles. God has brought us from very difficult backgrounds and he's made us to be what we are. Without God, some of us would not have been called lawyers. Without God, some of us would not have been called architects. Without God, some of us would not have been called engineers. Without God, some of us would not have been called governors. Without God, some of us would not have been called MPs. Without God, some of us would not have been called MCA. In other words, child of God, God has performed miracles in our lives. But just like the Israelites did after God had taken them out of Egypt, they forgot about the miracle that God had done to them. Just like them, even us, all of us have forgotten what God has done in our lives. We have got, forgotten the miracle that God has performed in our families. I just want you to take about two minutes or three minutes to reflect on your life and to reflect on where God has brought you from. In that when you had that accident, people thought that you were dead, only for God to take you out of that accident and take you to the next step. When you were about to drown, God was there to help you. When those thieves or thugs attacked you at your home, God was there to protect you. None of your brothers were there, none of your cousins were there, but God was there in person to protect you from the bad people. And although God has done all this, it is unfortunate that most of us have now turned away from God. Just like the Israelites did, the ornaments that they were given by the Egyptians, that's what they used to make the God that they decided to worship. They decided to worship silver and gold that they were given. Child of God, that's what's happening in our life today. There's more, a lot of worship that most of us are doing, and the worship that we are doing basically is of silver and gold. People trust their jobs more than they trust God. People trust their profession more than they trust God. People are willing to wake up very early in the morning to go to a job, 
Yet, when it comes to going to worship God, they don't even give God a chance. People believe in the principles, like Pareto principle, the 80-20%. They believe that that 20% is what gives them the 80%. Yet, on a more serious note, they don't even give God that 20%. If we were only to give God 10% of our time every day, God would have taken us very far. So as it is, whether we are pastors or we are servants of the Lord, we are stealing from God in terms of time. 10% of everything that we own, the Bible tells us, belongs to God. And therefore, 10% of time, 10% of our daily time belongs to the Lord. How many of us give God even one hour per day in our relationship with Him? We are busy worshipping other idols. We are busy worshipping our jobs. We are busy worshipping the football teams that we support. If Manchester was to play, or Liverpool, or Chelsea, even at midnight, most of us will sit and wait to watch that match. Yet when we are told just to go and give God 30 minutes of our time on a daily basis, we don't do it. We are not different from the Israelites who despised God who had taken them out of Egypt. May we learn not to worship idols, not to worship what God created, but may we learn to worship God, that we will give Him the time that is due to Him, that 10% of the time that God requires of us, we will give Him that time, that every day you will dedicate time that we will worship the Lord, We'll just thank Him. We'll just thank Him for the gift of life. Just thank Him for providing for you the food. Just thank Him for protecting your family. With all the danger around us, God is able to provide for you. God is able to protect your child as they go to school and when they come from school. As they go to college and they come from college. God is able to protect you on this crowded roads of Nairobi. He is able to protect you in the crowded roads of Mombasa and Kisumu. He is able to, uh, to protect you on any crowded road all over the world. Every day is risk that we undergo. As you drive on the road, you don't know the guy who is going to meet you next, whether he is an insane person, but you keep on trusting the Lord that the Lord will protect you. And surely the Lord protects. He never fails. We are the people who fail on our part. Surely, how could you turn away from your God, yourself, after all that the Lord has done for you? Child of God, I want to leave you with this message. I want you to retract or re retrace where the rain began beating you. Go back to your Creator. Go back to the Lord who saved you, the Lord who created you, and the Lord who fights for you every day. If God was just to sleep for a second, it is like declaring that in a country, the policemen were to sleep or not to work even for one minute. Thieves will terrorize all of us. And that's what the enemy will do. The enemy will terrorize all of us if God was just to sleep at work. Just take two minutes or a minute to thank God. Thank Him for the gift of life. Just say, Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for providing for me. Thank you, Lord, for making me who I am. Without you, Jesus, I'm nothing. Thank you. May you continue blessing my life. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen.